Hi, I'm Elle, L Wood. A lot of people who aren't in the estate and letting agency industry and are interested in coming on board obviously want to know what the salary could be for them. Now, it's a sliding scale and it does tend to differ in whatever part of the country you're in, but I thought I'd give you a brief overview of what's involved in an estate letting agency career and the sort of figures that might be entailed. When you first become an estate or letting agent, you start off as a junior negotiator. That's the same in sales or lettings. As a junior sales neg, you're much more likely to be in the office part of the time and out the office part of the time. In the office, what do you think you might be doing? You'll be on the phone most of the time. You'll be taking phone calls and making a lot of phone calls. It's called managing your applicants. When you're out of the office, you most likely be doing viewings. That can be a really enjoyable part of the job. You get to see some interesting houses and meet the people you've been speaking to on the phone face to face. You can also enjoy seeing their faces light up and really change. The atmosphere changes when you know they're falling in love with the house. That's my favourite part of the job. It's just like matchmaking and it's really special. In lettings, there's exactly the same sort of thing going on. You're dealing with phone calls, you're dealing with viewings. In both roles, there's a lot of legal things that you will need to learn, lettings probably even more than sales. This is really important and you do have to have a bit of a brain to make sure that you're remembering everything that you need to remember. In lettings, of course, you're dealing with deposits and in sales, you're dealing with very big numbers. While you're on the job, you'll be learning negotiating techniques. You may be sent on training courses or these days receiving Zoom training. These can help you upskill as well as you develop, but most of it is just on the job. Your manager or your branch manager, whoever's above you, that's a horrible phrase, whoever's been there longer than you, whoever's more experienced than you, will hopefully take you under their wing and give you all the hints and tips that they can. If you get stuck, don't hesitate to get in touch. There's people like me out there. Even if I'm not the right trainer for you, there's plenty of other people I can put you in touch with to make sure you're getting the support to develop the skills you need. In the London area, it could be around 25,000, but of course your costs are more. You're likely to be in that job for around 12 to 18 months. And the next part of your career is being a senior negotiator. This is when training the staff becomes a little bit more part of your role. You look after people a little bit more and you might even start doing your valuation training. Valuations are the lifeblood of any estate and letting agency and they're often taken over by branch managers or valuation managers. But as a senior sales neg, you should be getting trained on this now as well and even doing a few valuations of your own. Some companies work in different ways, so this is all very generalised. At this stage, you will also still be carrying out your viewings and managing your applicants. In terms of pay outside of London, you could be looking at around £25,000 a year as a basic, and inside London, it could be anything from £30,000 to even £50,000 with commission on top, of course. The key thing about being a senior negotiator is that you could be left in charge of the office. You will start learning teamwork management skills because actually vast majority of estate and letting agent work is about managing your team. After you've been a senior neg for a little while, you might be able to get promoted or change company to become a branch manager if that's what you'd like to do. Branch managers, are basically running their own office. So you're likely to be in charge of both sales and lettings teams and recruiting and managing the staff in general. It very much becomes an HR role at this stage. You're probably not doing very many viewings and you're probably not dealing with that many applicants. You could still be doing a lot of valuations though and generating those valuations as well. Again, depends on the structure of your company, but this is a, a generalization to help. You could also be doing quite a bit of admin that the administrative staff can't do, dealing with solicitors and writing reports for head office, things like that. 
in terms of your finances, you could be looking in within London between 50 and 100,000 a year and outside of London between 40 and 60,000 a year. You're also likely to be making commission based on the whole team's progress and achievements. That's why being in charge of the staff is so important. Having been a branch manager for some time, you might decide you want to move on. However, a lot of branch managers stay in position and instead diversify. So because of their knowledge and because of their position, they're able to secure some of the best properties to build their own property portfolios. This means they become professional landlords as well as their full-time branch manager job. You might decide instead to become an area director. This probably involves having three or four offices that you're in charge of. You probably spend quite a lot of time on the road driving between these places and dealing with a lot of staff issues. Could be recruitment, it could be tribunals and things like that. There's also, as an area manager, a lot of training and coaching that you get to give people. This can really help those branches achieve the most that they're possibly able to. It can be a really satisfying role. Some people decide that actually after being a branch manager or an area director that they want to set up their own agency. Hopefully that gives you a brief overview of the opportunities involved within an estate and letting agency career. If you've got any other questions, don't hesitate to get in touch and don't forget to subscribe.